Second video in the series on removing the resistance that's making you work way too hard for a fraction of the results that you potentially can get. In the past video, I talked about physical resistance, the way that your body might be resisting your ability to be active, healthy, and exercising. Now, in this video, we're talking about some of the more internal sources of resistance. These are some of the real bugaboos that a lot of people struggle with, but they're underneath our radar so much that we don't know they're there. Now, we have resistance internally from two sources. There's mental resistance and there's emotional resistance. Now, in my book, Fitness Independence, I talk about how some people are logic dominant and emotional dominant. Both of these are very important. Logic dominant or logic side of things is the information we need in order to progress. Emotional side of things, that's the, the beliefs. How do we feel about the things that we do? And most uh, folks I find are one or the other. I tend to be emotionally dominant. Some people are logic dominant individuals. However, when we're short on one of these things, we have an excess amount of resistance that's preventing us from moving forward and getting done what we need to do. Emotionally dominant individuals, like myself, we're the type who are always very motivated and we can stick to a game plan like glue for years on end. I mean, you break my leg, I'm still finding a way to get out on the mountain bike. So nothing stops us. However, our resistance is logic based. While we're motivated to keep doing things, we typically think we always know what we're doing and we're always doing things correctly. So we're not finding new information to move us forward. So we just keep doing the same thing all the time. And because we're never learning, we're not actually moving forward. Now, logic dominant individuals are the ones who are always learning. They've got stacks of books on their bookshelf at home on everything about the latest trends of exercise and diet and so forth. But they just can't seem to get going and stay consistent with their workout programs. Or they'll try a diet for a week and then fall off. So their habits are always here and there even though they know a lot of information. So in that case, the resistance is emotionally based. There's something inside about how they feel about the exercise, how they feel about the food or the diet or the habits that's holding them back. And I fully admit, I, there's a million reasons why that could be there. I don't know, maybe uh, when you were in gym class as a kid, you, kids made fun of you in gym class and as a result, you can't stand to be in a gym. Yet. Every new year or every once in a while, you get a gym membership and you're like, this time I'm going to do it. You read every book there is to know about working out. And you get on all the blogs and you get the programs and you get all the information, but you just can't seem to stick to going to the gym on a regular basis. It has nothing to do about what you know. It's all about how you feel about the thing. Now, guys like me, will go to the gym every single day, even under the worst of circumstances. But we can't make forward progress because we're not learning how to actually do anything better. So the question for you is, are you emotionally dominant or are you logic dominant? If you're emotionally dominant like me, you have logic building resistance. So learning is the key to overcoming that resistance. If you're logic dominant, you're always learning, but you can never seem to make anything stick. You have an emotional so source of resistance and that's going to take some introspective uh, work. And when you remove the resistance from either of those things, everything's going to be way easier. Let me know if you have questions and thoughts down below. Be fit, live free.